Such a lovely day out there again mm -hmm. today. Meteorologist Samara Kokinos is back with us in for Tom. You know, Christmas was just five days ago, but big change since then. Absolutely. We had a 24 degree change from Christmas Day to today. So, That's wild. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and, you know, that drastic change actually happened a day after Christmas. So you'll notice the daytime high for Christmas and the day after 53 degrees. And then we launched back up into the 70s. And that's pretty much where we've stayed since then. So yes, we have had some chilly nights and even some cooler days with some areas not reaching out of the 60s um, on this day where we hit 70 there on the 27th. But you can see that gradual trend really going up. And we're going to continue to see it go up a little bit more as we head into the new year. Right now, temperatures are warm out there. It's pretty nice in the mid 70s across our interior. We're talking about Orlando, Kissimmee, Sanford and all the way back into Ocala, 74 to 75 there. The coolest spot on the map is in Palm Coast sitting at 68 where we've had a few showers. Even Daytona Beach had a few sprinkles of rain there sitting at 70. But that is still anywhere between about three and up to five and almost six degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday. So that shows you we've definitely had quite a bit of changes taking place. High pressure situated off the eastern seaboard allows for that flow to come out of the east to southeast, drawing in those warmer temperatures, giving us a few coastal sprinkles. But look at this. This is the next front. It is well, uh, it's taking its time out there. It's not in any rush to get to Florida for the new year. So it is going to put a lot of our major rain chances on hold. We had a few passing showers in Daytona Beach, and you can still see some of those clouds lingering out there as the sun is setting tonight, but it hasn't chased anybody off of the beach. It's currently 70 degrees and east to southeast wind at seven miles per hour. As we head into tonight, it won't be as cold, but there could be some patchy fog out there. But as we head into 2020, the rest of it, we're going to be warming up and mainly dry by the weekend. I think is when we're going to see a few showers. Here's the next front. Check this out. This is Thursday tomorrow at one o'clock in the afternoon. This front's still exiting Texas and getting into Louisiana, still to the west of the panhandle on Friday morning, but then it gets closer, eventually getting to our north and western area, I would say, uh, by late Saturday night, and then taking its time passing through on Sunday, then we'll still get some showers out of it. We're going to squeak some rain, but until then, about 10% is going to be your rain coverage from now until Saturday, so maybe a, a stray coastal shower, but nothing too much. 61 will be your overnight low in Palm Coast as well as Ocala, 63 for us here in Orlando and Kissimmee, and Lakeland, 67 for you tonight in Melbourne. Here's tomorrow. Your forecast is brought to you by Trial Pro. Your high is going to soar back to the lower 80s. We're talking about 82 for your daytime high, which is 11 degrees above the average for this time of year. Now let's get some results and show you your pinpoint accurate seven day forecast. Tomorrow night will be 65 as we ring in the new year. Then as we head into the first full day of 2021, 83 degrees will be your daytime high. And then we continue to be in the lower 80s as we head into the weekend. By the end of the weekend, a few scattered showers with that front with a high of 70, dropping us off to the mid to upper 60s for the first week of 2021. But guys, you know, this front has been taking its time, mm -hmm. slowing down. So all this could change, possibly either speeding up those rain chances or even pushing them back a little bit further. It's something we'll continue to pinpoint for you. We'll have to wait and see. Samara, thank you. Well, it has been a weird year, <laughs> but some of the strangest sights have turned up on Florida roads. Trooper Steve is finishing up 2020 with one last look at the worst and weirdest submissions from New Six viewers coming up in What the Honk. And a huge high-tech New Year's celebration is in the works. We take a look at the televised bash getting prepared overseas. Tomorrow on the morning news, the final countdown to the end of 2020. What local leaders are doing to help make sure everyone's safe while celebrating. We'll see you in the morning, 4.30 to 7, right here on News 6. Get click -o on the go. Top stories and weather in less than two minutes. Find out at News 6 WKMG on Snapchat and Instagram. Okay. They investigate for truth, for safety, for you. The News 6 Investigators, only on News 6 starting at 5. After my car accident, Dan won my case and got me $200,000. Thank you, Dan. Involved in a car or motorcycle accident? Call me now at 407-888-8000. That's 407-888-8000.
nothing beats the fun of new technology during the holidays. And nothing has more fun technology than a new Hyundai. And during the final days of Hyundai holidays, you can still save big. And finally, get one for yourself. Hurry to the final days of Hyundai holidays. Get 0% APR for 72 months on the Santa Fe or Tucson or up to 4250 cash back. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Experience good, clean fun. Meet the clean team. Cleaning and sanitizing all common areas and high-touch surfaces every 30 minutes. Contactless digital menus available at all our restaurants. Screening and temperature checks taken upon entry. Hand sanitizing stations throughout the property. We are dedicated to keeping you safe and sound. We're going to find the perfect tree. We're going skating. We're going to Nanos. Wherever you go this holiday, Chevy can help you get there. Which is why we're making our Chevy employee discount available to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. So wherever you go, happy holidays from Chevy. Use the Chevy employee discount for everyone to get over $5,200 below MSRP on this Trax. Get the Chevy employee discount for everyone today. Receiving more drinks than two. I like you making your mean face, playing your mess plate. I got it, city. Just like you do. Right now at City Furniture, we'll give you 60 months special financing with no down payment and same day delivery. Why? So everyone can live like this. Tonight's primetime lineup is brought to you by Lexus of Orlando and Lexus of Winter Park. At 8, Young Sheldon. At 8.30, Mom. At 9, SEAL Team. At 10, SWAT. Followed by News 6 at 11. Well, here we are. A year full of honks has come to an end. But that doesn't mean we're going to stop looking for them. Just means 2021. We get to do it all over again. First up, yes, this is very real and very dangerous. Appears this SUV is assisting this bicyclist from point A to point B. But if you can't get there safely, then what is the point? If you look closely, the dog is more secure than the passenger hanging out of the back of this vehicle. Obviously, I don't like any of this, but it's because I would hate to see this guy get hurt. Close the trunk next time and let's throw a seatbelt on also. Let this be a clear message that no city is safe from the honks. Claremont hasn't made an appearance here until today. I have so many questions here. First, is there anything inside that animal crate? Do you play in a band or the big one? Can you even see your side view mirrors? This is a mess waiting to happen. I like to call this a soup sandwich. All right. This trash lane change happened around the Georgia-Florida state line. Watch as the truck driver cares about nothing but their own travels as they change lanes without looking at anything. It's almost cringeworthy. Your turn signal is an indicator. Well, it indicates what you would like to do. It does not create a force shield around your car and move other traffic. This could have been a horrible crash if the driver of this car wasn't paying attention. Good job. Now, I want to keep seeing the things you're seeing. Keep your passenger picture or dash camera video coming to me and send them over at clickorlando.com slash whatthehonk or email me at asktroopersteve at wkmg.com. And as always, drive safely out there and have a safe and enjoyable New Year's Eve. What the Honk is brought to you by your Central Florida Honda dealers. New York City isn't the only place planning a big New Year's celebration. China released this video showing the preparations for a giant televised celebration. It's all in celebration of the milestones hit by China in 2020 from its fight against the coronavirus to accomplishments from the nation's space program. The show will feature musical performances, fireworks, martial arts demonstrations. It will also use new technologies to create visual effects around the performers. News 6 continues in just a bit. Here's a bit of what we're working on for News 6 Top 6. Continuing coverage of a heartbreaking crash just before the new year on I-95. A head body cam video shows Volusia County deputies responding to a wrong-way driver speeding down the interstate. 
And California now reporting its first case of a new strain of COVID-19 and other reports surface in Colorado why doctors think this new variant has already led to a surge in the U.S. and what you need to know coming up. Plus, long lines to get vaccines at the Orange County Convention Center and some confusion on where you're supposed to go. Ahead, we break down where you need to go before you get your vaccination. You're watching News 6, getting results on a beautiful Wednesday night. There is a live look from our launch cam out at the port. We are tracking a warm-up. Samara Coquinos will have details on that coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Get our best incentives of the entire year during the December to Remember sales event. Like a 2021 RX 350, finance rates as low as 0%, and here we never charge a dealer fee. Call us at 1-800-NEW-LEXUS, Lexus of Winter Park, or Lexus of Orlando. 2020 got you feeling like your life's on pause? Get moving again at Planet Fitness during our big end of year sale. Join for just $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment. Now through December 31st and end the year on the right or left foot with tons of variety and space in our squeaky clean clubs. And use our app's new crowd meter to pick the best time to visit. Join for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment. Hurry, the big end of year sale ends December 31st. Beat the rush and join Planet Fitness today for just $1 down. But hurry, offer ends December 31st. If your child was born with brain damage, please call us to receive a free birth injury lawsuit brochure and learn more about how we can help. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. When I started this commute, everyone said I was crazy. So 15 years ago, I got my first Subaru and I did it anyway. My Outback always got me there. So when it was time, of course I got a new one because my kids still need me and I need them. Welcome to the 2020 Subaru Outback, the most reliable Outback ever. Go where love takes you. Get 0% for 63 months on the 2021 Subaru Outback during the Subaru Share the Love event. Dr. Sirota created a cold probiotic drink over 80 years ago. Which ones are probiotics? How about the product with Lactobacillus casei Sirota? Your cold contains a probiotic strain Lactobacillus casei Sirota. What should you do when news breaks? Turn to News 6, starting at 5. It's the December to Remember sales event at Lexus of Winter Park and Lexus of Orlando, where we make shopping convenient and easy. Shop by phone, call 1-800-NEW-LEXUS, and we'll give you our best price right over the phone. Call us today. That's 1-800-NEW-LEXUS. Live with ClickOrlando.com, this is News 6 at 6, getting results. Now at 6, Governor DeSantis reiterating his plan to make those 65 and older more of a priority for coronavirus vaccinations. And another case of a new strain of COVID now reported in California. As another report surfaces in Colorado, why doctors think the new variant has already led to a surge in the U.S. But first, a new look at body camera footage as first responders arrive at a deadly crash involving a man driving a stolen car the wrong way on I-95. And Volusia County Sheriff Mike Chitwood is calling the crash senseless. Good evening, I'm Julie Broughton. Lisa Bell is off tonight. And I'm Matt Austin, a 21-year-old and an 18-year-old, both dead in that head-on crash. Two of the backseat passengers are still in the hospital, too. The crash happened last night on I-95 near Bevel Road in Volusia County. It all started as a chase in neighboring Flagler County. Now News 6's Amanda Castro is learning tonight the wrong way driver has a lengthy criminal past. Volusia County Sheriff Mike Chitwood calling this a senseless tragedy. Last night was just a horrific uh, tragedy uh, that occurred. Dash and body camera video released today gives us a better idea of what happened. <laughs> It all started in Flagler County, where deputies spotted a stolen vehicle connected to an armed carjacking that happened Sunday night in Orange County. Deputies pursued the car heading southbound on I-95, where Volusia County picked up the pursuit. He knows it's me. Picking up speed southbound. A Volusia County K-9 deputy following the suspect. Chitwood saying he was weaving in and out of traffic at high speeds, and they called off the pursuit. Just as they were passing the exit 260 on off ramp, Chitwood says the suspect slammed on his brakes and made a U-turn. He sees the brake lights come on and the guy make a, a right hand turn and start to come back northbound in the southbound lanes. 
the suspect driving in the wrong direction on the ramp. Deputies ending the pursuit and trying to stop southbound traffic, but you can hear on their radio the moment the crash happened. I heard a big bang. He might have crashed. Crashing head on into an SUV driven by a family from Wisconsin. The 21 year old driver and his 18 year old sister in the front passenger seat killed on impact. Their 13 year old brother and 17 year old cousin in the back seat seriously injured. Chitwood saying they just missed their exit to I-4. 25 yards, 25 yard difference. They make that exit, they're alive. They miss that exit, they're dead. Life is precious. The man in that stolen vehicle also died last night at the scene. Troopers haven't released the names of anyone involved, but Sheriff Chitwood says the man in that carjacked vehicle has a lengthy and violent criminal history. And we learned the state revoked his license nearly 20 years ago. Reporting in Volusia County, Amanda Castro getting results. News 6. So sad. If you want to watch more of that body cam video, you can head to our website, clickorlando.com. We've posted the video and the story right on the home page. We'll also be posting all of our updates on that story from there. Today marks day two for COVID-19 vaccines at the Orange County Convention Center for those 65 and older. Sky 6 flew over the site today and saw long lines forming before the site even opened this morning. And as the county continues to distribute those vaccines, the governor is standing firm on his decision to make people 65 or older more of a priority. Last week, he strayed from federal guidelines that put essential workers like teachers, first responders and grocery store employees higher up on the list. We believe that uh, the better approach is to focus on the elderly first and foremost, then we'll get in to essential workers. Today, News 6's Nadine Giannis learned senior citizens are being prioritized ahead of some health care workers who have been left in limbo. Frustrated, really frustrated. Coming off her shift inside a patient's home, nurse Ann Scott has been told she can't get a vaccine. If you don't work for a hospital system or if you are not a first responder or anyone 65 plus, you cannot get the vaccine. Even though she works directly with those at highest risk you know, hospitals are not the only place that there is direct patient care going on. Uh, yeah, there's still confusion. I think. In Seminole County, Emergency Director Alan Harris said they were told two different things just today on this issue of whether or not healthcare workers outside of hospitals should be vaccinated. And the direction we got this morning is, yeah, yes, you need to go ahead and do that. Uh, and then a later conference call uh, was actually contrary to that. But it's, it's so confusing right now that other counties like Flagler and Brevard are moving forward in vaccinating those non hospital health care workers. And though there is no clear directive from the state, and we're going to do uh, what we think is right. Seminole County will now do so as well. The home health care nurses, um, doctors, family practitioners, uh, immunologists, clearly. But what about other health care workers like Winter Park dentist Jugnu Damiha? We are in close proximity to the patient as close as you can get to a person's mouth. He's called local health departments, state offices and Advent Health with no answers. We did get lost in one of, like I said, in the definition process somehow. Dentists, uh, dermatologists, uh, plastic surgeons, uh, those types of folks, uh, were, we haven't really received clear direction. But Seminole County says until the confusion is cleared up, any healthcare worker should book an appointment. We certainly will not prevent them. They will have to show proof, of course, uh, but uh, we will not prevent them. From so other counties like Lake County are changing their tune today, announcing it too will begin vaccinating those non hospital healthcare workers. If you fall into that category, head over to clickorlando.com for a county by county breakdown on how to book an appointment. In Orange County, Nadine Giannis getting results news six.